Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today we're going to ask the question, who do you want to be? This question relates to who you want to be in the English speaking world. When you learn a second language, you also have to embrace a new identity. Let's give some examples of how learning a second language forces you to change a little bit from your usual identity. Well, one way in which it does this is if you become very fluent in English, you can't keep wandering around the world listening to a YouTube news clip in Australia, then one from the UK and then one from America, because it will almost certainly confuse your English. It is true that we across the English-speaking world have a lot in common, but we also have a lot of differences. Those differences can range from religious differences all the way over to simple language differences. The American who asks you to back up your car or the British man who talks about there being trouble at mill, referring to trouble at home. These idioms are not, how can I say, they don't cross over well between countries. So who you are in the English world largely depends on where you end up and also whether you allow your English to get a little bit more personal and also a little bit more regional. If you learn English through the exam system and think you're fluent, you'll soon discover that, well, yes, you are when you're typing to your colleagues or your friends in other countries, but the moment you step off the plane into another country, you immediately hear things that you don't always understand. You really need to be choosing a city and drilling down into that city to discover what they are. And one thing is for sure, if that city is a UK city, almost certainly what's going to be there is diversity. So you can't assume anything. And you certainly can't assume everyone will be white, speaking Queen's English, wearing shirts and ties. And if you do have those kind of stereotypes that we all sit around at 5 p.m. drinking tea, I'm afraid you're going to get a bit of a rude awakening when you actually arrive here. So the question, who am I in the English world or who do I want to be, is a very deep one and it's, it covers uh, many aspects of your identity that maybe you haven't considered before. By the way, I'm sorry for the background noise. It's my washing machine trying to escape into the night. So here's my advice. Begin to narrow down your media. Maybe choose, for example, three cities that you really, really like, preferably in the same country. And then you can begin to look at their media sources. For example, the BBC in the UK have regional radio services in most cities. Uh, I think here, I'm just thinking about Scotland, there's BBC Radio Scotland that covers the entire country, but I'm also thinking about England and London, there's BBC Radio London, BBC Radio Oxford, uh, and a whole host of others. So the first thing I recommend that you do is to begin really narrowing down what media you're listening to, not only with radio, but with newspapers. Google can help you with that. And that's, uh, that's one of the first things that you can, you can begin to look at, to drill down into the culture. What you see or hear might surprise you with regards to diversity. Um, there's always a festival going on for one of our subcultures, whether that's 
African food festivals or LGBTQ festivals, there's always something. So it really is about finding your place within the English world. Finding your place also means making friends who have things in common with you. And that might mean reaching out into groups like Facebook, for example. That would be perfect. You know, every city has a portal for buying and selling things or even giving things away. And by reading those kinds of messages, you'll be able to pick up more colloquial and informal phrases than you would anywhere else. So it's about moving away from the standard, from the books into reality and the way that we speak. And I can assure you that in every area of the UK, we don't all speak like newscasters. Well, that's it for me. So that's the question for today. Who do I want to be or who am I becoming in the English world? And that really is something to focus in on, uh, which will maybe open a few doors for you before you get to your desired destination. I'm not suggesting that you should rush away and join a Facebook group in the country you're going to, but you do need to begin to open your mind towards the possibilities which are out there. Because in the English world, there's everything, maybe much more than in your country, with regards to possibilities. So anyway, I better go and... Uh, attend to my washing machine before she escapes completely and she's heading for the door there uh okay see you bye